when we look at this maintenance perspective in open source software report, uh, uh, what was the idea behind the report? Is it the first time you folks are doing it? Or is it like you do at a regular basis? If it is the first time, what led to that? If it is a regular report, we'll also talk about the comparison with the previous report versus this report. So let's go deeper into this report. Yeah, wonderful, thank you. So maintainer perspectives on open source software security is um, a report that was derived from a study that we, a survey that we ran uh, in at the middle of 2022 in partnership with the Open Source Security Foundation, the OpenSSF, as well as uh, Sneak, as it happens, an SCA vendor uh, company. And uh, we ran a survey uh, that was really focusing on um, addressing cybersecurity challenges in open source software. And we published an initial report on the survey findings um, entitled just that, Addressing Cybersecurity Challenges in Open Source Software. It was published at uh, Open Source Summit uh, in Austin in June of 2022. And um, it told an important story, but it didn't tell the full story. And because of time constraints, resource constraints, we decided to focus on um, uh, only one part of the data. This report that we published uh, this year in 2024 is a different cut of that survey data um, where we had uh, uh, responses from um, maintainers and contributors. We had 159 respondents out of about 400 overall open source contributors who identified as maintainers and contributors. And from that group, um, there were 79 maintainers and core contributors who um, answered questions specific to how they address security. And having that insight really um, aligns with the work that we have done at the Linux Foundation over the course of many years. And I'll go back to the beginning of our work in this space because the findings from this report that we just recently published reflect the evolution of um, the mindset of our developer and contributor community as it relates to security and building secure software by default. Um, one of the first studies that we did probing into this issue of the maintainer and developer mindset was the FOSS contributor study. Uh, which was published in the at the end of 2020. It was a collaboration with uh, Harvard's Laboratory of Innovation Science and co-authored by Frank Nagel, uh, David Wheeler of the OpenSSF and others. And um, thousands of, of uh, developers all over the world were surveyed. And what that report revealed was that we had a long way to go um, as it relates to having developers think about software security um, by default, um, understanding developer motivations. What that report revealed was we had significant gaps. We had gaps in tooling. Uh, we had gaps in resourcing. We had gaps in motivation by developers. In fact, some were quoted as having reflected um, the view that working on fixing bugs um, was akin to a kind of soul destroying exercise. That's not verbatim, but that is the essence of uh, some of the commentary that came through the study, that it was seen to be a real chore. So that was four years ago. Uh, we have since done numerous studies. Uh, we we um, did a follow-up report with Harvard Census 2 on um, uh, application libraries, free and open source software um, application libraries, scanning uh, the data sets contributed by SCA vendor companies to identify the most prolific software application packages in use. Um, by doing so, we could then identify which were the most widely used, um, then do further research to determine who maintains them and ask them what they needed. And so what we found in this research that um, 
was published recently, Maintainer Perspectives on Open Source Software Security, is that there has been this evolution in, in terms of awareness, efficacy, uh, motivation to secure software. Um, one of the most exciting findings from this report was that uh, the perception that by the end of 2022, um, our respondents, 62% of the respondents believed that um, maintainers and core contributors, uh, software would be more secure. And when they were asked what their view was uh, for software security by the end of 2023, 10%, there was a 10% bump believing that over time, as we implement uh, more tooling, as we implement best practices, as we recalibrate our resources, um, that the trend uh, to creating secure software is um, materializing. Like it's not just a wish and it, it's more than a chore. It's becoming um, more real and easier to manifest. So that is one of the most exciting findings that this report reveals. And that's a long way to say we've come a long way, but we've come a long way.